It's AM 970 The Answer, am970theanswer.com, streaming live on YouTube and on Facebook. And I'm proud to tell you, Sergeant Joseph Imperatrice is the founder of Blue Lives Matter in New York City, concerned with uh, uh, police, all or law enforcement all around the world. Joe, great to see you again, Sergeant. How great are you, brother? You. Doing good. So I, I want to start off, I have a bone to pick with you. So uh -oh, uh -oh. in the beginning of the de December, I was yeah. here. Hmm? You have the voice of an angel on radio. I do. And your uh -oh. infomercials and commercials are incredible. <laughs> so you know what happened on the way home? Uh -oh. I started driving, and you did an infomercial for the Crown Maple. Yeah. I bought $50 worth of maple syrup. <laughs> Right? Then, right, <laughs> then, then right after me, you think that's not good enough, Mike Lindell was on. So where yeah, I go? Yeah. After buying that on, on the phone, I go to Bed Bath & Beyond to get myself a MyPillow. I had to stop. I might end up leasing a car by the time we I leave it, this we show. We love tonight. it, man. Route 22 Toyota. We're just saying, baby. <laughs> Joe, thank you. You know, that, that crowd maple's great. Is that Incredible. Great? I, just, I just had it with me. I got my French toast over here. It's just the best made. It's made in New York State, by the I way. I feel like the movie Elf. I'm putting it on everything to get my money <laughs> yeah, first yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great, man. And my pillow, hey, we could have got your pillow. I would have got your pillow. And you, your brother, your brother in today. This is great. I do. It's, I'm, I'm very happy. To How see are you, man? Very nice to see you. Good to see you, all New York. And you got a ten month old at home, brother. I do. My little Landon Joseph. You look good. You look well rested for I'm, a ten month I'm old. Trying. Huh? Driving five hours to Connecticut to bring him back last night. Yeah. Oh, got a couple hours of sleep. Lord. But, uh, you know, he's baby sleeping through. He's incredible. He yeah, really is. Yeah, he's the best thing in the world, right? And I know you're concerned about your kids. I'm concerned about my kids. I see what's going on. So I'm in Indi I'm Indiana, in in Evansville, and I'm meeting the chief of police, and then I see the local Evansville police and I make sure I say thank you what got the one cop walks over to me and he goes Joe thanks for all you do speaking in, in on behalf of law enforcement the cops tell me local cop he goes you need anything he lets us know but we appreciate it. it's just not easy out there this cops telling me that this is the guy that's protecting my children protecting you know they were there at Don Mattingly's a wonderful wonderful event helping at-risk children we're trying to help the community and then this FBI shows up you know they all show this and then that's when Commissioner O'Neill called they were very impressed the commissioner the NYPD called this is it's a Beautiful community just trying to keep us safe. What's with the virtual, and I use a harsh word, assassinations, and that's what this is, of police officers around the world? Why is it this epidemic, Joe? Well, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to uh, consult with Fox and go on often, and the main topic is the war on cops. And in 15 days, we have the six officers killed in line of duty. The seventh was uh, the female officer that was oh. in her uniform on her way to work and parked. And last night, there was another canine officer that was uh, shot and killed. And the problem is, and we saw last year with the Piagentini family and the parole board, is oh. these individuals know that they're not not going to come out of jail. There's no consequences. You know, and there is no consequence. They know, okay, what's 20 years to these guys? And oh, I, I said it the other day that we really have to instill with the council men and women, and Joe Borelli is phenomenal with this, and we have to start working towards a death penalty, some kind of consequence, because there is none. People just opening fire. We had the individuals, the officers in their early 20s, they have a full life ahead of them. They have young children, Ron Ilsing in California, oh. which we have a fundraiser oh. February 6th, and that hit home to me because, like we just talked about, he's going to be 10 months old. His son was five months old. He will never, ever, ever get to know who his father was, and uh, it's just heartbreaking. And when the and when the guy comes from uh, when when Singh comes from where did he come from the Philippines he was he came over, from Fiji Fiji thank you and he came into the United States of America I will be a law enforcement official in the United States of America that was and he learns the language and he learns the laws mm -hmm. and he becomes an American and then he gets taken out by some slug cockroach I mean that who is not of this country who doesn't learn the laws and the language and now wh wh what is the argument here how do you settle it down does it happen you know one of the cops said to me and not to mention names but where the, the police officer was from prior to President Trump coming into office oh I know Joe's doing pro Trump it's not that please stop with that stop with that rhetoric I'm so bored with that it's the previous eight years the law enforcement was not supported. There were no consequences. So did that indeed, the disregard for law enforcement prior to President Trump lead to the problem we have now? I absolutely believe with the last administration, it definitely was the stand in front of a podium and spew hate and violence and people that are misinformed and going out there and listening to it. Uh, what was it? Chelsea and Manning a week ago lighting a blue line flag. You know what? There's people that are going to watch it and they're going to go out and do the same that? thing. And copy. Did you see that, man? Yes, and, and that individual couldn't couldn't handle the life of being a, 
Why was she soldier. blaming the police? Yeah. How did the cops get blamed for that now? That, listen, the cops get blamed for everything, and that's the problem, being on the front page of the paper and whatnot. And listen, this whole thing, and I was listening to you earlier with the whole border security, and listen, it doesn't matter, Democrat, Republican. That's At right. the end of the day, right. take away this individual that killed Ron L. Singh. Take him out of this country. He would be here right now. Right. He'd have his son. His one. son would have him. One. That is, it's right. that simple. No one's saying, you know, be harsh or inhumane, but if they're not here correctly, take them out of the equation, and people will survive, and they're going to live. Oh, you know what? It broke my heart. The 22-year-old girls we lost. The one Davis, California, and then the poor girl in, in Louisiana. What was that? She walked out of her house. And by the way, excuse me, one of those girls was a girl of color. And we, we can say what we want on this radio show, Joe. Correct. Where's Black Lives Matter, if I may ask? I mean, I'm being, I, I, I mean, I don't mean to be, they are welcome on the show. Sure, if someone sure. comes from Black Lives Matter, is always welcome on the show. Explain to me, why don't they show up when a, a kids are killing each other? you know, in the community and in the cities, or certainly a cop of color is killed. I don't see Black Lives Matter well, anyway. In, no, in I, and I agree with you, and they play into the politics and what feeds the fire and what they can get on the front page of the paper. And yeah, listen, yeah, I've said it before, yeah. all organizations that start, they do it for the correct reasons, but you're right, where are they? Where's Al Sharpton? Where's all these activists? Where's Sharpton? He's dancing with Ocasio-Cortez in, right. the house, you know, in her office. And, and the other officer, she shows up and, listen, you go to a car accident as a police officer, you don't think that someone's going to drive by on a Lord. bicycle and start opening God. fire on you, and this is the world that officers are living in and it's disgusting and there's all these conversations but what's being done you know we need to come together come to a solution and yeah, actually start yeah. moving forward yeah now tell us about where we can donate to blue lives matter in new york city well, NYC. blue lives matter nyc.org you can see everything our recent clips and everything going on we're actually going to be doing a visit to uh and also this Friday, and this is heartbreaking too because it's another child. She's got three years on, and the baby has congestive heart failure. Five weeks old, hasn't come out of the hospital, needs a heart transplant. So we're going there this Friday. We're actually going to donate there. As I said before, Ron L. Singh, the police officer killed on the 26th. We're having a fundraiser in Manhattan on February 6th. You can go to our website, bluelivesmatternyc.org. Anything we take in, it's going yeah. to the family. Our gala, April 6th in Staten Island. Yeah. We're actually inviting the Singh family to come. Wow, that's great. Uh, Ramos man. and Lou, it's actually, like we spoke earlier, at, at another date, five-year anniversary already. It's All incredible. Right. Feels and like and the website we can go to, Joe? BlueLivesMatterNYC.org. Right. You know, thanks for your service. And I know we have a lot of law enforcement that listen to us. Thank you. I always say to the men and women of the NYPD and all the local police, state police all over, thank you so much. And Sergeant Joe, thank you for all you're doing. Thank you doing, very man. much. God you bless so, you, man. So much. Thank Keep you. the fight, Joey. Thank you so much. Joe Imperatrice right there. 751 Blue Lives Matter. Debbie's on the roads for you right now on AM 970.